there were two things that coincided in my photography career's timeline. The dawn of the COVID-19 era and of course, the emergence of mirrorless cameras. So after nearly three years of hanging in there as an individual, business owner and of course as a creative, I had the opportunity to host a bunch of people in Costa Rica and Colombia in March and April respectively. Hummingbirds are some of the most fascinating birds in the world known for their incredible speed and agility in flight. As a photographer, capturing these tiny birds in action can be a challenge, but the right equipment and setup can make all the difference. One question that often comes up is whether multi-flash setups are required anymore for hummingbird photography after the advent of mirrorless cameras. In the past, high-speed photography of hummingbirds required the use of multiple flash units to freeze the motion of their wings and capture crisp, sharp images. These captures were often complex and required a lot of time and effort to set up, but they were necessary to get the best results. I consider myself a reasonably well-versed photographer when it comes to using flash along with natural light and in places like Costa Rica, the remarkable multi-flash setups were the only way to get hummingbirds in flight frozen in action. So this technique involved virtually cutting down all the ambient light and only using multiple flash units to replace natural light and obtain some remarkable sharp action shots of these little helicopters. However, with the advent of mirrorless cameras, the need for multi-flash setups has decreased significantly. Mirrorless cameras are designed with electronic shutters that can capture incredibly fast shutter speeds, up to 1 by 32 thousandth of a second or more without the need for additional flash units. With a mirrorless camera, you can capture hummingbirds in flight with just one flash unit or even without any flash at all depending on the lighting conditions. This not only simplifies the setup process but also allows for greater flexibility in choosing shooting locations and angles. Of course, lighting the underparts of the hummers were a dream in the flash setups where certain colors were only possible as flash light would illuminate at certain angles bringing out the flashy colors of the hummers. Remember what iridescence is. With different light angles, the hummers would display unimaginable colors due to the nature of iridescence in their feathers. Since their feathers are iridescent, light bounces off them like a soap bubble, resulting in shimmering hues that shift as you look at them from different angles. Now, that's something which won't be in our control as it depends on the direction the hummingbird is facing and the direction sunlight is hitting the area from. But let's say it's not a bad light condition, it's not harsh sunlight and it's typical rainforest cloudy weather, getting these colors in natural light is not all that impossible. That being said, multi-flash setups can still be useful in certain conditions such as when shooting in low light or when trying to capture specific behaviors or poses of hummingbirds. Additionally, some photographers prefer the control and precision that comes with using multiple flash units. In conclusion, while multiple flash setups are no longer required for hummingbird photography with the advent of mirrorless cameras, they can still be useful in certain situations. Ultimately, the choice of whether to use a multi-flash setup or not depends on the individual photographer's preferences and the specific circumstances of the shoot. I love the fact that multi-flash is not a necessity anymore, but it's an option. So let's exercise the option when needed and ignore it when it's not. I also know a zillion people who simply hate using flash. For them, it's very psychologically comforting to stick to natural light. Unlike some photographers who perhaps don't simply know how to use flash, but would blame the harmfulness of flash as the reason they don't subscribe to multi-flash setups, I think today for the capable photographer, there is an unbiased option whether to use flash or not, and that will depend on the requirement and not hiding behind the fact that flash isn't easy to deal with. So I'm super excited to have more options now. What do you guys think? I'd love to know whether you would love to learn multi-flash setups and if so, you're most welcome to Costa Rica or Colombia with me.